So we come to the third move <coughs> of the eight brocades Pilates style Quigong sequence. <coughs> Excuse me. This one's called Taking an Arrow to Shoot a Golden Eagle or Taking an Arrow to Let the Arrow Fly. Whatever form of this you're doing, the name will be different. Um, again, we're not going down that route. We're going to go more down the line of the Pilates setup with this and just calibrating and synchronizing that to motion. So, again, we're going to zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals and take the navel towards the spine. Okay, <clears throat> again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, and while you're there, you're just gonna breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. Two middle fingers touching here, <clears throat> shoulders down, breathing through the nose, and exhale through pursed lips for as long as you like, okay? Again, just keep the breathing even though, don't force anything, and you'll find the breath going in low and deep to these fish gills. Fingers will be moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Lovely, and that's just letting you know that you're breathing into these lower lobes of lungs, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep. So as you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. It's gonna help you breathe here. And as you take the hands away and just carry on that breathing, that's gonna help you use the pelvic floor and the corset in the most efficient manner. So this would be handy if you're coming back from a really bad back problem, engaging these muscles will help support the spine in the most beneficial way. And this will throw on the corset three layers deep, which is all segmentally stabilizing our spine, again, from here to here. This is where the pelvic floor ends, and that links on like cling film to the corset, the powerhouse, the girdle of strength, three layers deep. So again, you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, and that's the breathing we're gonna go with, okay? So we're gonna simply integrate that with motion. Lovely. So from there, I'm gonna go back and demonstrate. So again, there's a few different ways it's done in different forms, but again, the one I see most is feet, <coughs> sort of nearly horse riding stance, um, wider than hip width apart. Again, you might have to adjust this. Nothing's set in stone. <coughs> Make these unique to you, okay? But again, feet, horse riding stance, sort of positioning, not Charlie Chaplin, they're facing the front. And from here, what you're going to do, the traditional way is here, where all the meridians are based, you're going to be here or here. So again, you're going to come down and you're going to exhale here and open up the chest. So it's a, Again, a little thing, you can slightly take the feet slightly out, but not Charlie Chaplin, so maybe sort of slightly sumo to the sides, if that makes it feel better for your knees. Okay, we're not gonna come down, knees are not gonna come past the toes anyway. Okay, that's the most important thing. Only go as deep as you like. So again, from here, you're breathing in, and exhaling, shoulders down, here. Again, you can make an L shape here, or just take the hand back towards you here to stretch these finger flexors. Okay, it's a, only go as deep as you like, but no deeper than knees and lower toes, I would say. Shoulders down, just so wanna come up, always like this coming up, and exhaling down. It's a, I come up here, again, these forearms touch, you breathe in, and you exhale, it's a, hand back towards you, open out the chest. Anything that opens out the chest is good for us. So you spend so much time here compressing the chest. So open out that chest and all the organs in the chest. And really fire that exhale through the walls. That's gonna help you zip up the pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, like a cough or a sneeze. <coughs> Everything comes in towards the spine. So we're gonna breathe in. <sighs> Exhale, shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. <sighs> and really fire that exhale through the walls. Breathing in. <sighs> Gonna go 
go deeper, you can either go deeper or stay up higher. See what suits you. Again, I'm overemphasizing the breath then, but exhale and just fire it through the wall. Again, this one within a traditional form helps with clarity, vision, focus, as you can see. Um, and again, generally linked to the liver on the right hand side of the body, that organ. But again, we're going down more the Pilates path for this one. And we're zipping up the pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, and simply calibrating and synchronizing the breath to the motion. Lovely. That exhale, again, what I was saying about the exhale, going back to here, this is where the pelvic floor ends, here, from hip to hip, okay? And the corset muscle, three layers deep, link on, okay? Like clean film. So as soon as you cough or sneeze, <coughs> everything comes in towards the spine. So again, when you, <sighs> it's the same thing. You're literally throwing this corset on and zipping up pelvic floor to support the spine. Lovely job. And you can take that into the everyday life, no matter what you're doing. And if you're lifting something or whatever, you're taking that into everyday life. Whether it is gardening, driving, walking, whatever it is, when you need to sort of use your back or you're coming back from a back problem, it's really good to use that sort of setup for the pelvic floor and the corset. Lovely. So it's looking back to eliminate the seven fatigues and 100 illnesses. Well, 100 illnesses, seven fatigues. No, the other way around. Okay. Um, bang. Or wise owl gazes backwards next. That's easier. Lovely. Bang.